Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have the Sofia Open happening this week, an indoor hardcore tournament to sort of round out the season. We're starting to go into the European indoor hardcourts. Of course, the ATP Finals is coming up very, very soon, which is on an indoor hardcourt as well. So a lot of names are playing in this one as well. Some big names are playing, but some names are pulled out as well. So let's go to the withdrawal list. So only a couple of names have pulled out of this one. We have Batista Ragu. He's pulled out of this one. Chilich also pulled out, and McDonald has also withdrawn from this event. So starting at the top of the draw, and we've got eight seeds in this one, with the top four seeds getting a buy in the first round. Yannick Sinner, the number one seed, getting a buy in the first round. He's also the defending champion. He won this tournament at the end of last season. He awaits the winner of a qualifier versus Pospisil, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Russell Vori versus Duckworth. Winner of that match takes on either Pear or the number seven seed, Fakina, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got number four seed, Bublik. He gets a buy in the first round. He always the winner of the wild card, Kuzminov or Musetti, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Jera. Winner of that match takes on either the wild card, Lazarov, or the number five seed, Krajinovic, in the second round. So the players that I'm watching out for in this one, obviously keeping an eye on Yannick Sinner, defending champion of this event, and really loves playing playing at the end of the year. He loves playing at the end of the season. He's had some big wins in his career towards the end of the year. Let's see how the pressures of being the defending champion affect him in this tournament. Also, Bublik, got to keep an eye on him. He doesn't mind playing on indoor hard courts either. And also, Krajanovic, keep an eye on him because he's done well on indoor hard courts in Europe in the past. Made the final of the Paris indoors a couple of years ago. So keeping an eye on Krajanovic as well during this week. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, and we've got the number eight seed, Milman. He takes on Ema in the first round. Winner of that match is going to play a qualifier in the second round, no matter what, because we've got two qualies going at it in the first round. Then we've got Munir versus Giron. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Diminor, who gets a bye in the first round. Then we've got the number six seed, Manorino. He takes on Maga, the wild card, in the first round. Winner of that match will take on either Kichmenovic or the wild card, Andreev, in the second round. Then we've got Avashka versus Anduha. The winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Monfils, in the second round. So the players that we're watching out for in this one, got to keep an eye on the two big names and the two Two big seeds. Monfils hasn't had the greatest season in 2021, but he did make a semi-final last week on an indoor hard court in France. So he's in a little bit of form and also got to keep an eye on Diminor as well. He hasn't had the greatest season second half of the season. Started off on fire at the start of the year. So he's looking to regain a little bit of form to finish the year off. But also keep an eye on Avashka. He actually made a semi-final of a tournament last week in Kazakhstan and he's at a career high ranking. He's had a really, really good year. Also won his first title just before the US Open. So keep an eye on Avashka as well. He's a dangerous unseated player in this tournament. So there it is, the Sofia Open. And it's been around for a while now, the Sofia Open. It's an indoor hardcore tournament, of course, towards the end of the year as well, when all the European hardcore tournaments are wrapping up the season. Let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to win this one? Because it doesn't look like there's as big a names as we've used to seeing. Of course, Sinner being the number one seed, he's going to be the defending champion. How's he going to deal with that pressure? But other than that, anybody could win this tournament. It's wide open for me. It's an ATP 250 event event and those usually bring up some random champions as we've seen over the last couple of weeks so let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one taking a look at the draw and it's going to be very tough for me to pick but i'm going to go with the number four seed bubbling i feel like he's been in a little bit of form the last couple of weeks and i don't mind his chances at this event also had some really good results on indoor hard courts during the season. So I'm going to go with Bublik as the number four seed to get through and win this one. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this event? So the Sofia Open slowly starting to wrap up the season and it's got some names that are actually competing for the ATP Finals at the end of the year.